Hey, what's up guys, Spartan here. And today I'll be going over what I think is in top tier and this will be ordered. So let's get right into it. So the first one who I think is definitely going to be on the low end of high tier is probably going to be the Shotos. Um, probably put Ken. Let's do Rio. I think I think Terry's like somewhere in between these two. So Ryu, Ryu got like Omega buffed in the last one. Down smash into Tatsu. Is it an actual kill confirm now? Which is stupid good. Um, Ryu has always been good. It's just that he didn't really have a lot of shield pressure necessarily. I mean, like he did have like one shield break move, but. I do think that he's still probably on the lower end of the Shoto still. He has a really good camp. Um, camp projectile too, which is fireball. Um, but other than that, that's basically basically where I'll put Ryu at for now. Terry. A lot of his base not like his base knockback is so strong. <laughs> Invincibility on all of his moves. Has shield break moves. The only thing that's holding him back is, is his recovery. His recovery isn't necessarily like the greatest. Um, but I do think that he's like destroying people <laughs> still. And he's very mashy too. Uh, which is also like very, very good. Especially in this game. Um, so, and, and and he has a decent up to shield. I don't know if it's like necessarily like... I mean, like from what I've seen from Terry. Like you could do it. Or like an up to shield. He has a he has a good grab, but his grab doesn't really like leading anything, except for like maybe down is it, is it down throw into up air into rising tackle. That's like very very good like forty percent. But he's very very strong, very neutral based. Um, so I'm definitely putting him here. And then Ken, like what else can I say about Ken? Ken is the shield pressure god. He's stupid 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 good. Um, so definitely putting him here. Um, combos for days, um, does like a crap ton of damage, kills really early, still kills really early. Um, I think what is holding him back is that you can out camp Ken really, really good. Um, technically, with like all these characters, you can camp them very, very good, except for maybe Rio. Ryu's. Fireball is actually kind of annoying. Um, but as far as these characters go, if you have range or like any type of disjoints, you can basically just beat them out for free. Well, I wouldn't say beat them out for free, but like you have a you have a much easier time with these characters than like a character that doesn't really have disjoints. So the next character is definitely going to have to be Shulk. Um, we're still not seeing a lot of people play Shulk. I mean, except for I think is it is it Niku or, or like Naiku or something like that. Um, he plays Shulk, um, has really good winnings with Shulk. Shulk can easily get a disadvantage so easily. Like, so, 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 so easily. That's probably one of the best, actually, if not the best disadvantage state in the entire game because he can get out of it. Um, he can put speed on, he can put jump on, edge guard you, has humongous disjoints, his, and not only that too, but his aerials are really, really quick. Can kill really early, can put, can rack up damage on you. Um, so Shulk is definitely going to be here um probably put fox here um, i may move these around later fox fox is good for tech chasing he's very fast uh he has something to camp with with his lasers um, has a reflector, has a decent recovery. It's still an exploitable recovery, but it's a decent recovery. Um, Fox is, is still really good because of those tech chasing type of things. Like, he's still really, really, really good. Um, so, yeah, he's good. I would may actually maybe put Fox here and put actually Shulk above him. Because, like, he's not he's not as good as Shulk, in my opinion. Like, sh like he could, he, he could probably rush down, rush down Shulk a little bit, but it's nothing like, you know, like Shulk could probably just like reach out and just hit, 
like Fox for free. So I mean, like, that's what I think. Uh, let's see. Probably Ingling. Like, this character is actually really good. Inkling has combos. Inkling has paint. Inkling has all these cool and wonderful things about the character. Um, Kingling has, sorry, Inkling has a really good recovery. Um, a really good berry move. Like, tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of good things about this character. So, um, so I think Inkling is probably here for the most part. And also splat bomb setups and lead trapping and stuff like that. Like just like stupid, stupid good. Um probably put Mario here. Mario is just like really good. Like Dark Wizzy starting to show things with the character. Um can spike you at like you easily can get a combo off of you I, I like 30 and spike you and kill you for free <laughs> um very very combo based has a lot of kill options uh smash attacks are really strong too like super super strong up smash has invincibility on it or, or like intangibility or like invulnerability or something like that um overall just a very very solid character and um recovery still really good just recover low and you'll be fine uh reflector a very good projectile to camp with Good grabs. Um, he, he's technically medium sized, but he's like kind of small, so he can like little pro like like look. He he's kind of hard to hit. I'm not gonna lie. Like Mario is kind of hard to hit, but like it's fun to play against Mario every once in a while, in my opinion. Hmm. Probably put Peach here. I think. Like Peach, Peach is falling off. Like at one point they were saying like Peach is, a, Peach is probably like the best character in the game. Um, even after the nerfs, people were saying that she's like the best character in, in the game. I think Peach's problem is is that like she's slow. Like she's kind of slow. Um, but her combos though, oh my god, zero to seventy. If not, just outright kill you. <laughs> like, like she's super super good. Um, turn ups are also a very good camp. And also like a very, a, a, a very good projectile overall. And you can get that Stitch Face too. And they can just kill you for free. Um, Amber Bomb. Um, you can get some crazy stuff with the turn up. As far as like, you know, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. You know, like 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 we've all seen it. It's like turn up in air, turn up in air, turn up in air. And then get the kill with Fair. Um, Fair is still a great kill option. Even though they nerfed it, it's still a fantastic kill option. Um, throws are still really good. I think back throw, I, I believe back throw got a nerf, but it's still really good. Um, the hip bump, which is her side B, is still date, is, is still really good. And her counter is probably like one of the best counters in the game. One of the, the best counter in the game, I think, I still think is Arsene Joker, but, um, because of how big it is and how long that it lasts, but, um, but it's good. She's, she's still a very, very good character. Um, so. This is getting hard because like some of these okay some of these characters i really don't struggle with it's like i might play place them lower than usual <laughs> from what everyone else is saying but um yeah oh god probably pac-man pac-man is just really good in disadvantaged state like you could put him in disadvantage state and he'll just throw hydron. <laughs> now, granted, like if you spam it, like you can you can kind of like get around it. Um, but having hydrant there is like yeah, like he basically has like a worse flood, but floods like really good. <laughs> like, um, and also like you can just like throw projectiles into the in, into the flood. Or just Z drop them and it like spits them out like the speed of light and like characters can get like destroyed by it um, the projectiles that he does have with his neutral beat are very very good um, the bell is really good the grenade is really good the apple kills really good um, I know that 
I, I know that in Smash 4, Key was good. I think Key was good. Key is not that good anymore. Um, he has a very good recovery. Uh, like, this character is actually, like, dangerously good now. But he's very technical, though. Um, I don't see him as necessarily, like, spammy. I do see him as campy, but he's still technical, in my opinion. So, um, I'll place him here for now. <sighs> okay. I'm going to put Game & Watch here. A lot of people might say he's top five. I don't think he's top five. Um, I just think that it just has to come down to this is a squirrely character. And a lot of people don't like playing squirrely characters, like Yoshi, for example. Um, but he's small. Um, he has a frame three uppy that needs to be nerfed, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but I play Richter, and I think Richter wins this matchup. Like, Hella wins this matchup. But I don't... I, I see where people are coming from with Game of Watch. Because most of the characters that they play are characters that don't have those disjoints and don't have that range to combat Game & Watch. So, like, I kind of get that. So, yeah, I could see Game & Watch being top tier. Uh, for the longest time, I thought that he was high tier. At the very least. Or, sorry, at, at, excuse me. At the very, at, at the most, I could see Game & Watch being uh, high tier. But now, after playing as the character a little bit more and seeing what he does at top level, yeah. He's just very good at camping. He's very good at, like, disadvantage overall. Most most of the characters that like we'll start putting on this on, on this tier list i guess is like really 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 good at just camping and like really good at getting out of disadvantage like rarely do you see these characters like actually like like move in and like do anything it's really just like a poke game um that's why i put rob here <laughs> rob is so good at camping um rob is like dangerously good still gyro laser camping um especially gyro camping um i think and and, and his recovery even though it's ex even though you can hit him like you have so much fuel in the tank with rob if they had to nerf like one thing on him or two things okay if you had to nerf something on Rob, it would be his recovery. Like his recovery doesn't mean like need to be that good. Um, I think I think that like his recovery should get him to ledge. I don't think the, I don't think that it should be like a snake recovery. And by the way, snakes recovery, like it's like you you can like destroy a little hover thing that he uses. Um, but the thing about snakes recovery and the reason why I think that it's like a good recovery, it's not like the best recovery in the game. Is that Snake has to damage him or like or, or, or damage himself in order to like reuse it again. So like there's like a there's like a drawback with Snake's recovery. With Rob's recovery, you can just use it. <laughs> like, you can just use it. You can just use it. So I think like nerfing Rob's recovery would be good and maybe nerfing gyro. Uh where like if it hits your shield, like you can't use gyro again for a solid like, you know, three seconds or something like that. Like I think that'd be good. So um this is the hard part i actually may put snake like here-ish the thing with snake is that a lot of people overhype him like yeah up tilt's annoying grenades are annoying but if you get a character like an out camp snake which you can by the way like richter destroys him um ike destroys him yes because he has like ginormous hitboxes and like doesn't have to deal with grenades sometimes um i would even say maybe samus would destroy him too with like these new buffs that she got um there's just characters that can that can really do good against snake um but he can destroy like the characters like here and maybe destroy like inkling but like I think even Inkling, to a certain degree, can, like, move in on Snake pretty well. So, you just have to, like, work around grenades. Because, like, Snake is a very trade-based character. And that's what makes him annoying, is that trade-based character. Or, like, is that is that trade mechanic with Snake. Because he takes less damage, but, like, you're taking more damage. So, that's why I think that, like, if you don't interact with the grenades and stuff like that, 
and just wait for the grenades to happen, then like you'll be fine. So that's just my opinion on the snake. I think snake is probably like down here. I don't think that he's like top five. Cause these, I think these characters are top five. <laughs> these characters are still top five. Um, like one, or like, or like one of these characters in the top five. Uh, God. I want to say that. Yeah. I think the Joker nerf that he got to gun was like warranted because that move was stupid good. <laughs> um, the Arsene nerf, if they had to nerf Arsene, I think that was the way to nerf Arsene. Um, like if he takes damage, it eats like a good portion of the actual Arsene meter away. I think that was a good nerf. I, I don't think that was unfair. Unfair would be like Arsene doesn't last as long. Because now you're act now you're actually taking away what makes the character unique and good. Um, but as far as him getting hit, yeah, for sure. If you get punished with Arsene, like you, yeah, like like you should lose more meter. Um, but I do think okay, my heart says he's the best top tier in the game, and the reason why my heart says that is because he's the most fun to play as and play against. <laughs> in my opinion, in my opinion. He is so fun to play against, and he's so fun to play as. Um, a lot of people dropped him. Like, a lot of, like, the people, like, at my locals and stuff like that, like, they just dropped him. And I don't know why. He's still very good. He's stupid good still. He still has, like, the best, like, recover or, like, or, like one of the best recoveries in the game. He has, I still think, the best edge guarding in the game. He still has the best kill power in the game as far as top tiers go, because our sin's stupid, stupid good still. But all because, like, whenever you get hit, like, you don't lose our sin, or or, 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 or you lose our sin faster, they just dropped him. It, it basically just says, okay, well, maybe you should be too more technical with the character, and not necessarily more safe with the character, but, you know, you should get the value out of our sin. Because now, what, what are, the thing about this nerf, the good thing is, is that you can actually punish Joker for, like, throwing out an unsafe move. The bad thing about it is that we're going to see Joker's camp more with our sin and just start spamming side B until you and, and until they hit you with it, and then that's when they're actually going to start using our sin to like up air, up air, up air strings and stuff like that. In which case, is going to be so boring to play against, um, and that's why like the character itself will probably be more boring in the in, in the future. So, uh, okay, top five, probably Palo. Um, I don't think necessarily that the pat. I, I actually think that there was more buffs to this character than nerfs in the patch. In 7.0.0. Um, down air, up at, uh, up tilt, I believe. Um, the only thing that really got nerf on her was down throw. Like, it's not a, a it's still a, it's still com, it, it's still combos. That's the thing. It's still combos. Y you can just DI out of it. DI out of it better. And there still combos for you longer. Um, it, it just requires just a little bit more precision. That's it. Like you're still really good. Like you're still stupid, stupid good. Um, back throw still kills. Grab is still stupid long and still very quick. Um, so yeah, Palo is still really good. Anybody who says this character is high tier, any, or like anybody who says this character is like on the low end of top tier, I don't know what they're talking about. This character is still stupid, stupid good. So. This is the hard part. I think Wario's probably here. Um, Wario, he has he he probably has like the best comeback feature in the game, other than Arsene probably. Um, just the idea of farting on you and taking your stock in the most disrespectful way ever is probably like one of the best comeback tools in the game. Um, we saw what he could do at was it Genesis? I think it was at Genesis. Uh, it was Wario. It was it was, it was Gluttony versus. Um, versus Nairo and he was at like 85 or like or like 90 percent and he just like nair 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 up aired into into waft and killed him at like basically nothing like zero percent um probably like one of the hypest things that I've ever seen a warrior do but like it's the best I mean 
Wario's still, like, stupid good. I remember a long time ago, and, like, I actually fall into this, like, pitfall, too, but we place Wario, like, all the way down here, maybe in, like, the top, like, top end of high tier, and now I'm actually starting to see, like, a lot of stuff that, that Gluten's starting to do with the character, and he's definitely, like, on the top end of top tier. I think what this character basically struggles with is, char is characters with um, disjoints and swords. So like characters like Lucina, characters like like Cloud and Belmont to to a certain degree, um, those characters can basically just you know outrange him because again he doesn't have any disjoints. All he has is just like his just fat body just like just rolling around in the air and then like that's how he combos. But but yeah, I do think that War is probably up here because of, of just that combat or because of combos because of his recovery. His recovery is still stupid good, um, and because of his kill options, like his kill options are, are still stupid, stupid good. So, um, let's see. Probably zero suit. Um, I think zero suit is tech chasey. Like she's like a. It's weird. She's a better fox, in my opinion. Like, she's, like, really, really good at tech chasing. Um, down smash into up B. Neutral B into up B. She's really good at ledge trapping. She's really good at, like, spiking people and killing them at, like, 20. Um, she's just really good in general. So, I'm like, what I was going to say about Zero Suit. Like, Zero Suit's main goal is basically just, like, I'm going to run away. She, you know what she plays like? She plays a lot like Sonic. Like she like runs away and like does like 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 little poke tools and stuff like that. But when she gets the hit on you, and then that's when she combos on you. And then if you don't die from it, she'll just run away. <laughs> like she she plays a lot like Sonic in a lot of ways. She plays a mix between Sonic and a, and a mix between Fox. It's very weird. So, but she's still really good though. Like she's still stupid stupid good. So, yeah, probably put her in here for now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. Um, Pokemon Trainer. Um, overall, like this character is really, really good. Having three characters to worry about, three, three, three matchups to worry about, is stupid good. Um, having a character that's really good at comboing, a character that is still really good at comboing, and can kill you really early, and having a basically a tank. They kind of like anchors the entire or like, you know, just puts like a nice little bow on the actual like experience of the character. It's a very well-designed character. Like a very, very well-designed character. I think Pokemon Trainer is probably the, the most well-designed character in Smash. Other than maybe probably Joker. Um, Joker, Belmont, uh, PT, and believe it or not, probably the Shodos, Terry, and... If I had to put another character, I would maybe say, um, maybe Cloud. Like, those characters are just, like, so well-designed, um, as far as, like, in their execution. You know, like, not being boring, being kind of hype in some ways. Like, I actually find those characters very, very enjoyable to watch and play as. Um, but PT is just so, so good. Like, she's so, so good. Squirtle comboing. Ivysaur still comboing, still killing. And then Charizard basically just, like, as, a, as just a giant kill body. Um, like, just a stupid good character. A really, really good and well, like, well-designed character overall. And then, of course, who I think is the best character in the game is probably Pikachu. Um, Pikachu, edge guards, low profile. Um, even when he throws out a move... And lands with that move. Uh, the, the landing lag of those moves. Who cares? Uh, I low prof. I can still low profile you, and uh, you still can't hit me. So, haha. -ha. Landing lag doesn't mean a thing. Um, so yeah, like Pikachu still super super good. Basically, the better P um, Pikachu is the better Pichu. <laughs> um, this character has not gotten a single nerf yet. This character has gotten actually a buff in the lifetime of Smash Ultimate so far. 
the buff was is that they increased his grab range. Why? <laughs> Why? This character was already stupid good. And they just made him even better. Um, that was a like an early patch from last year. But still really good. Still really good at edge guarding. One of the best recoveries in the game. If not the best recovery in the game. His recovery actually is a good combo starter. Um, so, like, there's just so many good things about Pikachu. t is the most annoying, campy, toxic recovery, or sorry, um, projectile in the game. t is so, so good. Um, so, if anyone tells you that Pikachu is, like, you know, top five, or, like, well, he's top tier, but, like, he's, like, not that great. No. He is brokenly stupid and definitely needs some sort of, like, I would want him to, like, kind of lose some of his, like, low-profile stuff. Because, like, there's some things that are, like, Roy's jab, for example, it hits very low and then comes up, right? If Pikachu lands with, like, a fair, he squishes so low that it looks like that the that the uh, the jab will hit him, but it doesn't. Like, even Roy or Krom's jab can't even hit Pikachu. So... Are there any counties to, counters to Pikachu? Kind of. Like, characters with, like, a disjoint other than Belmont's. <laughs> like, um, basically, like, a big swipe. You know, like, a swipe sword or something like that. Like, that's that's what he's, like, good against. Or, like, that's... Those are characters that, are like, are good against Pikachu. And also, I would say probably Game Watch is, is, is good against Pikachu because he can just, like, do Game Watch things and, like, and like he'll just destroy Pikachu. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So... This is my top tier list, and it's ordered. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please comment them down below in the comment section. Um, I tried to do the best I could with like listening to everybody's opinion on it. Um, so if you agree or disagree, and if you think that I'm wrong about a character being in a certain spot, just comment down below. I'll read over it and make my response. Uh, if I see your comment. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.